Now, I wonder, have you ever been for a walk in the countryside and wondered, what's that building at the top of the hill? Or whether a battle was fought nearby centuries ago? Or simply, if you're tired, is there a cafe nearby? Well, from today, all that information is just a little closer to hand in the South Downs National Park, as Sean Killick has been finding out. It's a sign of the times. Traditional countryside finger posts getting a 21st century update. The South Downs National Park is putting up signs which can be scanned by a smartphone, automatically linking it to the internet. All you have to do is scan one of these images on here. Once it's scanned it, it loads a page on the internet which will tell you everything you need to know about the area here, the hills around it, some of the buildings, the churches and the Roman villa nearby as well. There are scores of these traditional signs along the South Downs, but the new ones can be used in locations where larger boards are considered too intrusive. They're also cheaper and can easily give updated information and play videos and audio commentary too. There's a range of different information really. Um, the QR code itself, the quick response code, uh, that links straight to a mobile web page. So in this particular location, it's got information about uh, Bigner Village, uh, the Bigner Roman Villa and also about uh, Bigner Hill. So you can see pictures, text, uh, information about wildlife, really things that you can digest and look at within uh, a minute to two minutes. But the National Park Authority is aware that many people don't have a smartphone. We're looking at how many people do take up the, the offer of using this technology, whether people feel that they're being excluded and, and, and they want uh, more traditional forms of, of, uh, of information. So uh, that's one of the reasons why as a national park we're trialling it and looking at how well does it work. Smartphone technology is increasing and, and uh, it's not going to be long before most people that have a mobile phone will have the capability to use this technology. Cyclists Becky and Simon were the first to use the new signs here. I think it's a fantastic idea because it lets people know what's in the local area and if they see points like that they can scan and then get more information on what's local. And if they're not local to the area, they know what's around them as well. If this three-month trial is successful, the idea is likely to be taken up by other national parks across the country. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Bigner.